I've been going through picking the outer leaves of my endive. There they are. At this time of year, guys, these leaves are bitter. Now this chicory that looks like a weed, these leaves are sweet. You can eat those in a salad all the time and they're permanent. So this is what they call permaculture. My mother hates the way these look when she eat them all the time, you know. Food should not look dainty. Dainty, pleasant looking things are usually poisonous. The exception is the rose, but the rose has thorns that tells you it's food. You know, food has to protect itself. Poisonous things do not. You will only bite them once. So let me go on over here. That's in my little nerdy lecture. I've already picked this one. This one, um, it's not balling up as the, okay, it's, it's just now starting to ball up. So I just picked a few out of leaves. But as you can see, this one's got a pretty big rosette going on here. And by now you could probably, no, you can't, you can't see where I've been picking it. So I'm gonna pick some of these. I'm gonna pick the flourish. And you pick these so that way they don't block the shade with their outer leaves from anything else. And you see, once I picked it, that is a leak that was living underneath the, the endive. It's probably shocked that it has um, sunlight now. <laughs> Although, um, leaks don't need as much sunlight as we give in Southern California. So, I'm gonna go through and I'll show out. you something. Um, let me find my hand on camera. Yeah. So, you see this? This leaf was actually getting little baby leaves on it. So I'm gonna have to take that all off. And I just break it down there. I have to finish off camera because I don't wanna mess up my, I don't wanna rip my head off and then lose my plant. Cause you know, I just picked the outer leaves. So I just keep harvesting. That's the harvest, I'm inside now. Wait up. pizza, you see the nice cheese on top. The vegetables are nice and steamed. And here's our star of the day. This is strawberry wasabi cheese pizza so that's our lunch it's a nice healthy one hope you make this sometimes and enjoy it is strawberry season i'm just gonna pick this last lettuce here of the year it looks like it's about to go to seed so i want to pick the outer leaves here for a salad and I'm gonna let those inner leaves just um, continue to grow. Let me see, see right there, that little center part, I think it's about to bud up and it'll be too bitter to eat. This is my salad for today. Bon appetit. Today we're making a garden niçoise salad. I have a few extra ingredients because it came from my garden. But these are um, lettuce and some radicchio from the garden. And I got a few little bits of chicory in there to give it uh, a melony taste. And the lettuce, just chop that up. It's real easy to put it together. All you do is start putting your toppings on there. So first toppings we're gonna put on here are some um, potatoes here. We're gonna just grab these potatoes. These are red potatoes them on top then we're gonna go and grab some eggs and place those on top and then some onion and place that on top follow that up with some tomatoes and we have sweet potatoes because we're in Southern California. So I'm gonna put some sweet potatoes there. Another sweet potato for those who don't want to eat so much. And now we will add the green beans and bon appetit. I put some rice cakes there to go with it. I must admit I had to substitute turkey instead of tuna because I don't have any tuna. And these are California olives instead of the Niswa olives real nice spring salad or now summer salad have with a glass of lemonade um, and use a vinaigrette dressing bon appetit. well look at what I found I was digging through the dirt to uh, um, plant watermelon and I found a new purple potato I'm 
much too tired to actually dig potatoes. I think it was a bad idea for me to plant them because I'm too tired to dig them. So they may come back next year. But I'm gonna serve this one for dinner here because <laughs> it was on the it was on the surface. Good thing I piled that dirt up because I didn't have to dig for that one. But I just want to okay, guys, I'm gonna just take a chance and harvest some of my corn. These corns seem to be developing second ears, but I'm just gonna go in here. They said when the tassels are dried out that the corn's ready to harvest. Um, this one, I feel corn here, but once I get to right about here, I'm not so sure. But I'm just gonna harvest it because um, the critters in my garden are harvesting the corn, so I have to take what I can get. And we'll see what this is like later. I peeled back the surface here, and I can see a critter took a bite out of it, but this corn looks ready to me. This is vintage corn, Stowell's corn is what it's called. So I'm really happy with that. I'm just gonna cut off that little bite there. The critter must have been full. I was prompted to harvest because I noticed that several ears of corn were harvested. So this is probably the last one that they harvest. I just wanted to show you, it's pretty full. And this is Stowell's corn. This corn is about the size of my hand but I got lots of ears, so I'll go through and give you a tour you of this. Corn. See, my basil is starting to flower, so I'm just gonna prick these flowers out. You see those little leaves coming up there to make the plant bushier? Please excuse, I haven't done my nails. I do try to keep myself looking decent for you guys out of respect because you are watching my videos, but um, it's nail doing day and I just, so I'm just, so I do try to put in an effort for you, but you do know that as a rule, we gardeners are kind of bums. Okay, so I'm gonna take the center of this one out because I want the plant to bush out and I wanna get more basil. I'm gonna try to stretch this plant all the way to winter time. And then I'll let it go to seed with hopes of having garlic come up from the seed. Now this year, I didn't get any garlic from my seeds. I'm just pinching it out. There we go. Let me see, did I miss any? Ah, uh, yeah. I missed one, but I'm going to get it. And of course, I'm going to make pizza with that. Yeah, it's going to be basil tomato pizza. Look for that pizza recipe, guys, because you know it's coming. There's... if they left us any strawberries. Oh, look at that. Ah, breakfast. Okay. Another one. Oh my. The yogurt's gonna be good today. Mm -mm. Okay, these the homies have been chewing on, so we will leave them there. More ripe strawberries here. I won't take them all. I always leave some. I'll leave that one. And I'll take this one. 
This is the worst angle for a person over 12 to ever use, but I am using it because I want you to rate, comment, and subscribe and share this video. It's clear you've got skills and I want you to know I don't take it lightly that you picked to watch my video all the way to the end. Thank you.